is an opera about the instability of desire. So Lulu has many husbands and many lovers. But for Lulu, none of the men can match the image of what she thinks she needs. And Lulu can never quite be the, women, the woman that the different husbands and lovers want. She wants a man who'll accept her as she is forever, to allow her to do what she wants, and this is never possible. And the men hope that she's going to be a devout and faithful and ever-loving, quiet wife at their side, and she's not interested in that either. So it's about this lack of meeting of the object of desire and the desire that goes out to it. So it's about fragmentation, about people being fragmented, not being the single coherent being that they're expected to be. And that's reflected in the production with the drawings which shatter, which reform themselves. The Lulu's portrait is the series of papers which fly around the screens and the stage. Lulu as a personality is always a mixture between what has been written, what is directed, and what the particular singer brings to the role. So I'm not interested in the interpretation of Lulu saying she was an abused child, she's got an attraction to a father figure, any of those kinds of psychologies in advance of the performance. One does the performance and you discover who Lulu is at the end of the rehearsal period when you see the performance. In that there's a lot of ink drawings which both refer to German expressionist art making, but in which the ink is also the blood that is spilt in the opera. So there are many times when there are splashes of ink on sheets of paper that you see, and there's a way in which the violence of that mark and of the brush mark is an equivalent of the knives that slash and stab people in the opera. The whole structure of the opera, including the third act, was clearly from the very beginning from Berg. I mean, the, um, one says not only mini structures of the opera are, are com com uh, composed in a, in a mirror way, like a palindrome. Uh, the, you could actually even say the full opera is com structurated as a mirror. In the middle of the second act, right in the middle of the orchestra interlude, which is mirroring itself, in the middle there is a lovely arpeggio uh, upside from the piano and then goes down again and then start is everything mirroring what's happening and then it's a fully complete perfect palindrome. And then again, each one of the characters, like, I mean, all the, all the husbands uh, Lulu has had in the first act are becoming the same singers, not the same characters, but the same singers uh, as her clients in the third act. I mean, there are so many ways in you can really see the fully complete structure was thought out from the, from the start. The imaginary of the work may even suggest that his way of thinking is very cinema-wise, very related to the pictorial um, and, uh, uh, I mean, imagine in the, in, the, in, the, in the early 20s, that was like uh, the most avant-garde thing ever, uh, not just theater, but cinema. Yeah.